hello my beautiful exotic friend welcome to today's video let me show you how to make some good testing chin chin at the comfort of your home just with a few ingredients so let's dive in okay we'll be needing 500 gram of flour i've already sieved my flour then we needing 150 gram of sugar powdered milk you can use 80 gram or 100 gram then butter is 80 gram you'll be needing then you need salt one over four teaspoon i'm taking my time to mention the ingredients so nutmeg one over four teaspoon your milk emulsion one teaspoon you'll be needing baking powder half tablespoon so let's dive right into the video so now our floor is already sieved and my hands are properly washed yes then you have to add in your sugar let's go in first with our dry ingredient the sugar the milk use a good powdered milk and you're good to go yeah i use powdered milk for this recipe i like the after test of it, it tastes like cookie then i'll add in the other ingredients my nutmeg my salt and my baking powder all the dry ingredients first then go ahead and mix properly the next thing you're going to be adding to your flour mixture is your butter so when we are done adding the grind the dry ingredient we're going with the other ones then you add your butter you mix very well like till it's looking like crumbs then the uh, the how soft or strong you want your shin shin to be determines the quantity of butter you'll be adding to it so now i'm adding my milk emulsion and i will gradually go in with my water too they are all wet ingredients so like i said before the quantity of butter you need for chin chin determines how you want your chin chin to be do you want it very strong like that that strong chin chin type or you want it to just be just melting in the mouth it does why you will add much quantity of butter but if you don't want it to be strong you add a little bit of butter and in this recipe i did not use egg butter does the work for me so no need for egg but feel free to add egg to your own if your first time on my channel please you're welcome please subscribe to my channel yeah we'll give value here i'll give you value for your time and your data so subscribe to my channel i have a whole lot of videos for you to watch please leave a comment for me i want to read your comments and also if you drop a comment for me the first person to drop a comment for me will get a shout out on my next video yes you will get a shout out on my next video let me get to know some of my amazing subscribers so back to our changing recipe so you have to roll out your dough to be flat the way you want or how thick you want your chinchim to be then you roll out very well to your satisfaction
So we are done cutting our chinchin to our desired size. Now it's time to fry our chinchin. I add in some onion for extra flavors. Yeah, I love the taste that onions give to my chinchin. So please add it into your oil when you're frying. You will love the outcome. So add in your chinchin bit by bit so you don't overcrowd your frying pan and make your chin chin soggy that is the chin chin will drink oil and become very very oily Go ahead and fry your chin chin till it's golden brown. The aroma from this kitchen is something else. I love the aroma. Everything is just perfect. So we've come to the end of this video. So the first person to drop a comment for me will get a shout out on my next video. So please leave a comment for me. So go ahead and enjoy your yummy chin chin just try this recipe step by step and you will enjoy every bit of it look at our end product it's so fine well thank you for watching bye see you in our next video